With the order given by President Buhari in his broadcast, I've started generating reactions in some quarters saying the president cannot order restriction of movement in FCT, Lagos, and Ogun State without the approval of the National Assembly. However, a legal practitioner, Kaude Ajulo, says President Buhari is empowered to restrict movement on held ground based on Federal Quarantine Act Cap 384 LFN 1990 Cap Q2 LFN 2004, which remains in force as a primary law governing matters concerning public health crisis in Nigeria. The act empowers the president to place a curfew, impose restriction of movement, including the lockdown, according to provisions of the Quarantine Act. We are known, we're now being joined by phone by Kaude Ajulo, a legal practitioner. Good afternoon, Kaude, and thank you for joining us. Hello, good afternoon. Now, can you enlighten Nigerians on the Quarantine Act as we have it in the Constitution? Well, uh, the, 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 the law has stated is what it is. We need not we need not over labor the whole thing. It is so clear that one thing we should know is the government, apart from seeing to the welfare and security, is to ensure that Nigeria is at wise okay. And whatever we, we want to see, it is a federal law and it is tried with the president to do what is right at all times. We're getting to know this act just just now. I beg your pardon. How come we're just getting to 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 be um to be know to be in the know about this act? How come we're just getting to know about this act now? Look, law law is always there, and it is for you to know the law. Ignorance of the law should not be an excuse. Once it is passed, it is expected that everybody should know about it. The law has been passed. And the law we're talking about was first started in 1926. And the 1999 law of federal tradition of Nigeria, they acknowledge this law. And as of 2004, there is a way to amend the law, which, which is so the law has been there. Every lawyer, every Nigerian is supposed to know about the law. The ignorance should not be an excuse. Oh, now, the arguments in certain quarter that the president doesn't have the right to, to shut down Lagos Lego State without the consent of the National Assembly. Now, how do you react to this? Well, this one depends on the perspective from where you are looking at. And that's why law is dynamic, and that is law is very interesting. One thing we need to know very well is this. It depends on your argument. Yes, there are some times where you would need you will need the president to do to do some things by when it comes to declaration of state of emergency, emergency, which we need to go to the National Assembly. But this one has its own exception. The exception here is this. The WHO, that is the World Health Organization, has declared that there's pandemic all over the world. And when you check the section of the constitution, one of the exceptions to restrict movement of, of the people is when it has to do with issue of disease, outbreak of disease, pandemic, and co. And even your lawyer, your doctor, sorry, your doctor can even restrict your movement, not to talk of not to talk of the generality of Nigeria. This is the position of the law. I agree with whosoever that believe that if you want to proclaim declaration of a state of emergency, yes, you need to the you need to, go to the National Assembly. But one of the exceptions of not going to National Assembly is that Quarantine Act. Now, as a legal practitioner in your, in your legal expert, uh, expertise, don't you, don't you see this as, a, as an infringement of human right of movement? No, it, is, it can be. Let, us be. let us be sure that even under the Chapter 4, we talked about fundamental human rights. There is one clause there, one proviso that talked about justifiable measure. So we would, when we talk of human rights, there are some things that is justifiable. There are some things that are needful. There's, there's some things that are out of necessity. Mind you, we have not even gone to the issue of doctrine of necessity, in which I can say because it is necessary, it is, it is expected, it has to be done immediately, we need to do it. We should understand one thing. There's pandemics. There, there is a threat to that human right itself. There is threat to livelihood. And it is expected that any sensible commander in chief, any sensible president of a, of a republic, will quickly jump up to do it. Mind you, he's not doing it 
for certain changes. He's not doing this because he needs to do something. He's doing it to, to protect your life, to protect my life, to protect Nigerian life. Um, many people argue the fact that prior to this cessation order coming from the president, which takes effect from today, 11 p.m., that the governor of Lagos State, Babajine Sanwulu, had originally initially um, wanted to um, pass a law about um, a curfew that was going to take place from the hours of 8 p.m. to 6 a.m., which he later didn't see the need for. It was called off. Now, many people argue the fact that as the governor of the state, that it was in the best position to decide what was necessary for the state. And they, they kind of saw the, the, um, the order of the president as pretty much brash and abrupt. What, what is your reaction to this? Well, let me start by saying that the law has passed by the legal state government. If it's subjected to text in law court, it will fail. It has no effect and it cannot be. When it comes to quarantine, when it comes to the issue of disease, that is why some of us talked about restructuring. Okay. There are some things that is in legislative, legislative list. It is exclusivity of the federal government. And for you to say this on the issue of disease, you need to do this. It has nothing to do. Who, 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 the, the person that has actual power is the president. The law has passed by the, by, the, by the legal state government, by the legal state government, is of no issue. If, if, if it is subjected to, 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 to scrutiny, particularly in law courts, it will fail. But as it is, we don't need that now. All right, now I just want to ask you, do you think as it is right now, Lagos State and its residents are prepared for this lockdown, given the fact that many, many outlets will be shut down people won't be able to go about their normal activities and fend for themselves. And many have argued the fact that not so much of palliative has been put in place by the state government. What are your thoughts on these? Well, that is, that is what we need to look at now, that how do we take the buffer, particularly the lockdown. The majority of Nigerians, and I want to put it that 90% of Nigerians are still without, without usual balance, hustling. Hustling that they are day to day, they are daily paid, there are a lot of people that... So I think that is what we need to concentrate on. And I think that that is why the service provider, that is the MTN, the Airtel, the Econet, need to come in. Apparently, Nigerian, they hold phone. True that they can be rich, the, the palliative can be getting, can be getting, can be getting to them. But as, as, but as it is now, that is only my fear, and I believe this is one of the things that we should be addressing.